Spicy for K action. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday. It's an exciting day. I got my freaking Kino Lorber box finally in. If you saw my uh, community post the other day, uh, I feel like I was like the last person to get this. I, you know, I didn't put my order in on day one of the spring sale, and uh, yeah, uh, it took a while. I think I ordered it on April 11th, and yeah, it didn't show up till April 30th. So pretty, pretty wild. Um, you know, kudos to Kino. I reached out to them asking about it. Uh, because I got confirmation emails so early on from them, you know, and they usually say, you know, we'll send you an email with your shipping once it's shipped. And I reached out to them. They're like, yeah, you know, just super busy. Sorry. You know, and I totally understood that. So uh, I'm hearing that some other people did get some delays. Uh, so I'm not the only one per se, but um, yeah, uh, it's just great to see Kino doing great or, you know, doing good. I, I really... Out of all the boutique labels, I'm really thinking Kino is my favorite. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It's it's the the, the quality uh, and the type of movies that they have. They have a wide genre of movies, so I always find stuff I like. I've only been disappointed in one release that I own, which is Dress to Kill, which I will watch again. But that's the only one I haven't liked. Everything else I've been a fan of. Um, so... Yeah, anyway, uh, their prices just can't be beat when it comes to boutique labels, uh, especially on their sales. I, I mean, Arrow and Criterion, they do sales, but it, I mean, is it really a sale? I mean, it's, to me, it's just like, that's that should be how much the retail price should be. That shouldn't be the sale price. But yeah, Kino just kills it. Um, I feel like they do some great work that doesn't get recognized. Uh, I think people put Arrow and these other ones above them because they, they don't do the big box limited edition poster lobby cards which is cool for some releases but i don't feel like you need it for everything especially you know running out of shelf space and whatnot but uh yeah kino lorber is fantastic but anyway enough of me blabbing about my love for kino lorber let's just get into everything i got um i haven't bought kino since their last okay I, i'm already lying i just bought 12 angry men day one uh from best buy because well 12 angry men is one of the best movies of all time in my opinion uh so i definitely wanted to grab that just in case the slip ran out and of course i looked on blu-ray.com the other day and it's like six dollars cheaper but oh well uh i'm still happy to have a great movie i'm not you know bat mad about that but uh either way other than that release um the last kino purchases i made was on their sale i believe in december or november so i'm guessing that's when the next sale will be this year but anyway uh so i stacked up on this again these are all 4ks there's no blu-rays in here um and this will basically get me up to you know have every release that they've released on 4k except for rawhead rex and serpico which are brand new titles i think i have everything else i may be missing one or two but anyway let's get into it uh so first one uh, a remake that's actually uh what am i trying to say here uh, a remake is coming out on 4K later this month, uh, but this is the original with Michael Caine, and that is The Italian Job. So really excited to check this one out. This is from 1969. Uh, it's got some, looks like it's got a decent amount of special features up here. If you want to pause and check that out, go for it. Uh, but yeah, really excited to check that one out. And out of all of these, they're all wrapped except for this one. I don't know why, but uh, this is marathon man on 4k with dustin hoffman from 1976 don't know much about this but i've heard great things so definitely looking forward to check it out they do have some bonus features but not as much as the last one i just showed you let's get in here i haven't seen this movie i've seen the remake and i own death wish 2 on 4k from vinegar syndrome so i had to get this and that's charles bronson in the original death wish um, I like Death Wish 2, and I like the remake, even though it's not the best, but the original, the OG, I'm really excited to check this one out. I've heard some things. Uh, this is from 1974, a uh, short movie, only 93 minutes, but as you can see, it is lacking on the special features, but that's okay. I do really like this slipcover. Um, yeah, I, I've been getting into Paul Newman. I guess I just watched Cool Hand Luke for the first time. Uh, in April, and I really loved it. Every movie I have of him is fantastic, um, which would be Cool Hand Luke, The Sting, 
and Slapshot. So I saw this. This was a Kino Lorber title. I had know nothing about it. I know he was nominated for an Oscar, I believe, for this. Um, and this one, for whatever reason, was a cheaper 4K than any of the other 4Ks that Kino was coming out with. But this is Nobody's Fool with Paul Newman. This is from 1994. Um, again, don't really know too much about it. But uh, I've liked everything from Paul Newman so far, so I'm definitely trying to expand and see more of his stuff. So definitely happy to have this in the collection. I'll let you know what I think of it, but you can see it's kind of lacking special features again. But again, not a big deal to me. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Man, I love me some Clint Eastwood, especially some Westerns. Um, you know, obviously when they came out with uh, the Dollar Trilogy last year, it's just fantastic. Good, bad, and ugly, you know, a few dollars more. All that stuff. Really love those movies. Uh, when they came out with this, I definitely wanted to check it out. I love this slip cover, and that is going to be High Plains Drifter from 1973. This one's rated R, so I am really excited to check this one out. I don't think the uh, those original dollar ones are even rated, or maybe they're PG. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. But uh, anyway, really excited to check this one out. Um, this is, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And there is a lot, lot of special features on this one so awesome to see there high plains drifter hey man clint eastwood 4k usually you can't go wrong usually i mean i don't i don't know a clint eastwood movie that's on 4k that's bad but you know comment down below if you know one um if you know me you know i love my war movies this is one i haven't seen i do like stanley kubrick as well and hey it's a war movie directed by stanley kubrick it is an older one it's got kirk douglas in it and that is Pass of Glory from 1957. I do know this is about World War I, um, but other than that, don't know much about it. It is only 88 minutes long. Um, yeah, looking forward to checking it out. It looks like there's really only a commentary on there. It does talk about a new transfer in the bonus features, but there's really not much going on there. But really excited to get this one and to check it out. I'll be probably watching this one first. Um, and also excited that I got the slipcover for whatever reason, you know, Kino Lorber, they make it seem like some, you know, some have slips and some don't. And it looked like this one was, you know, ran out of slips, but thankfully they did not. So I still got the slip. Happy about that. This was another one that looked like they ran out of the slip. It came out last year, but I've waited on it. I've heard good things from some people and other people don't really care for this. I've heard it's a weird movie. It's a Jim Carrey movie I've never seen. And that is The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I don't know how I'm gonna if I'm gonna like this or not. Um, I, again, I don't really know much about it except that it's kind of weird and it's not your typical Jim Carrey role. So uh, yeah, this is from 2004. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. I actually have a 100 movie ultimate bucket list poster behind the camera, and it's like a scratch off. You know, it's, it shows you the title names and then there's like a square that you scratch off. So when you watch the movie, you scratch it off so you know you've watched it, but it also reveals like a an image that, you know, has some meaning to the movie. Anyway, this is on there, uh, and I will be scratching this one off finally because, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is one on the, the poster that I have not seen. Lots and lots of special features there. So uh, also really awesome star-studded lineup. You got Jim Carrey, Kate Winslet, Kirsten Dunst, Mark Ruffalo, Elijah Wood, and Tom Wilkinson. I mean, just star-studded cast. So real excited about that one. As I mentioned just a little bit ago, I do like Stanley Kubrick a lot. Some movies more than others. But just kind of keeping on, keeping on with the Stanley Kubrick Kino Lorber tradition, I added The Killing to the collection. This one's got a really nice slip cover on it. I do like that. This is from 1956. Uh, it's 84 minutes long. Don't know too much about it, but it sounds like there's a killing in it. So uh, I'm sure it'll be decent. Uh, but yeah, not too much special features going on here, but uh, another one happy to have in the collection. All right, we're down to the last two here. Let me get this box out of the way. All right. Uh, I've seen the remake of this one, but I haven't seen the original OG like this one is. So uh, excited to check this one out. And that is The Taking of Pelham 123. What a just incredible slip cover on that. I really do like that. Um, but yeah, I've heard good things about this. I, I don't know why I haven't seen it, but I, I highly, I really, really think I'm going to like this one. Uh, this is from 1974, uh, and it's got a ton of special features on it, so... Definitely be checking that out very, very soon. Walter Matthau, Robert Shaw. There you go. 
And then the last one is another Clint Eastwood movie. It's not a Western. It's a prison escape movie that I haven't seen. And I am so mad that I haven't seen this. This was one of my stepdad's favorite uh, Clint Eastwood movies. And I'm just so bummed I never got to watch it with him while he was around. But uh, Clint Eastwood escape from Alcatraz. Um, I can't wait to watch this. This is huge. Um, my parents actually went and visited Alcatraz um, a long time ago. And it, it was... Uh, it was really cool because they, they brought back a bunch of uh, souvenirs for me. So I always have an affinity for uh, Alcatraz Prison there in San Francisco. But really looking forward to this movie. It's from 1979. It's actually rated PG. Not, not what you would think for a typical you know prison escape movie. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Love everything I've seen, seen Clint Eastwood in so far. A um, couple of interviews as far as the special features go, but nothing too crazy there. But all in all, another Clint Eastwood 4K to the collection. Gotta love it. And that's it, guys. That was 10 titles from Kino Lorber. Just incredible. I think they were all $17.99 on sale, except for Nobody's Fool was $14.99. Maybe The Killing was $14.99 as well. But yeah, just incredible deal from them. Of course, waiting for the deals and the sales, you are, you know, potential to miss out on a slipcover, which I've missed out on a few. But, um... I'm very happy that I was able to get all these slip covers. So I guess we'll do one money shot here so you can just see the stack. But yeah, real excited to check these out. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of any of these titles. What did you pick up in the spring uh, Kino Lower Sable sale if you did? Uh, and yeah, if, if you got a favorite of these movies or one you hate, let me know. I know what to dive in first. But uh, yeah, that, guys, that's all I got. Hope everyone has a great week. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.